Hi everyone, Nasya Davos here. In this video, we'll talk about the third quit smoking stage of the CBQ method, which is change your smoking pattern. The CBQ method has four stages that help you quit smoking by overcoming your mental dependence on smoking. And in this video, you will learn why the third stage is the cornerstone of the CBQ method and what is your smoking pattern so you can change it and smoke your last cigarette. Now, when I say smoking pattern, think of it as your smoking habit. Your smoking pattern is everything that leads up to you picking up a cigarette, lighting it up and smoking it. And it's important to know what your smoking pattern is and how to change it because smoking has become part of your routine and it's part of everything you do. So if you don't change your smoking pattern, you might quit and feel that life is not enjoyable without cigarettes or you might try to distract yourself by substituting cigarettes with food or another vice. And it's only when you break this habit that you can quit smoking without feeling deprived. And that's why this stage is the cornerstone of the CBQ method. Now, most people think that to quit smoking for good, all you have to do is resist cigarettes until you just don't want to smoke anymore. But that's hard. I'm not saying it has never ever happened, but it's so hard because the smoking behavior, which is you lighting up a cigarette and smoking it, is just the tip of the iceberg. This is what everyone sees, but there is so much more to it. Everyone sees the behavior, but every behavior is preceded by a trigger, a thought, and an emotion. Think about it. If you, let's say you turn on the TV and see something that upsets you, this trigger will cause sad thoughts. Then sad thoughts will make you feel sad and sad feelings will make you behave as sad. Maybe cry, turn inwards, look down and so on. But if you look in the mirror, let's say, and that triggers you to think of yourself as attractive, then you will feel attractive. And when you feel attractive, you behave differently. So, trigger, thought, feeling, behavior. And the same applies to smoking. Every cigarette you smoke is preceded by a trigger, a thought of smoking, and your emotional state. These are the four parts of your smoking pattern. Trigger, thought, feeling, and behavior. And you need to be mindful of all four parts if you want to break your smoking pattern and quit without using your willpower. And I'll explain why in a bit. So now let's look some more into your smoking pattern. So first comes the smoking trigger. That's everything that triggers your cravings and reminds you to smoke. This can be stress, a phone call, driving, your living room, or smoking between tasks. And research shows that our triggers make us more likely to relapse than the withdrawal symptoms. So it's very, very important to deal with the triggers. Now what happens after the trigger, because listen, everyone experiences stress and they want to concentrate and they want to take a break. Everyone, smokers, ex-smokers and non-smokers alike. But why do smokers respond to the same situations by smoking? Well, it's because of what they think when they encounter a trigger. And that's the second part of the smoking pattern, a thought, specifically a positive thought about smoking. In other words, a craving, because that's what a craving is. A craving is a positive thought about smoking. That's it. A craving thought can be, I need to smoke now, or a cigarette would be nice, or I can't deal with this without smoking. Remember that a craving, it can't hurt you, break you, or make you do anything. It's just a thought. But the problem is that the thoughts about smoking affect your feelings. So if you think about smoking in a positive way, this creates positive feelings about smoking. It creates a desire and a need for cigarette and that makes you feel deprived when you quit. And the last part of your smoking pattern, your smoking behavior, comes after all that. It's a response to all that. The smoking response is something you have done so many times after encountering a trigger, then having a positive thought about smoking and then feeling desire or need for cigarettes. You have been through that so many times that the smoking response has become automatic. So if after all that 
you use willpower to stop yourself from picking up a cigarette and smoking it, it just won't be enough. If you want to stop yourself from smoking, you need to catch it at the thought. Because if you try to stop yourself at the behavioral part, where you're already holding a cigarette with a lighter in your hand, then it will be much harder to not smoke at that point. So, if you want to stop yourself from smoking, you need, you need to catch it at the thought. And to completely change your smoking pattern and quit for good, you need to 1. Manage your triggers. 2. Change, replace or neutralize your craving thoughts. And 3. Change how you feel while smoking. Only then you will change your smoking behavior and quit for good. And that's the third stage of the CBQ method. This is where you quit. But wait. After this stage, you might feel you're done with smoking. But that's a common mistake that many smokers do and it causes them to relapse. That's why the CBQ method has a fourth stage that's all about remaining smoke-free. So, make sure you go through that stage after changing your smoking pattern. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn about the other quit smoking stages of the CBQ method, check the links in the description. And if you want to get started with the CBQ method and learn how to get started with stage C3 and the other stages, make sure you get the CBQ Getting Started video. See you soon.